Well done, Rafa. You know and respect Felix so much. What do you think made the difference in the end? Hello. Well, mm, made the difference that I played a little bit better. Uh, uh, that's at the end. The sport normal is very simple. No, when you play. Uh, uh, better you have better chances. If you play worse, uh, then you have, uh, of course, less chances. No, and uh, in that, in that case, uh, when I played well, I won the match. <laughs> when I played not that well, I had a lot of troubles. No, because uh, for the set I didn't play well, so I lost. Uh, and then the after the set, after the first set and a half, I started to play much better in my opinion, much more aggressive. Uh, and then I played a good end of the second set and I think a, a very good third set. And then I, I make it a super mistake at the beginning of the fourth when the situation already changed and I was on control of the match. And then I suffered, but most important thing that I played again, uh, uh, I think a good fifth set and especially the last uh, Three, four games I play with the right determination. So very happy for that and all the respect and credit to Felix that he's playing better and better. And uh, if you are not able to push him back, uh, it's very difficult to, to, to control him because he has a huge serve and first shot with his forehand is, yeah, is very aggressive. Hey, Rafa, Matt Futterman from the New York Times. What do you do during the next 36 hours uh, after playing such a long match today to get your, get your body ready for the test that you'll probably have to endure on Tuesday? Uh, what, is your, what is your recovery routine like? Well, uh, I mean, go have some stretching in my physio then eat something probably and have some sleep, have a good practice tomorrow and rest the tomorrow afternoon. That's it. Nothing special. I, you can't do much. <laughs> just expect and hopefully I I will be healthy enough to to have a good practice tomorrow. That's it. Rafa, everyone calls you the king of clay. So what does it feel like for you when the fans call you the King of Clay? Do your friends and family ever call you the King of Clay? And do you ever wake up in the morning and think, wow, I'm the King of Clay? No, nobody called me that way <laughs> in, my, in my family or even in my <laughs> close group of people. No, not at all. No. I don't. I never felt that way. Uh, of course, I achieved more than the rest on on this surface. So I don't need to to be called the king of nothing. <laughs> I, I know what I did uh, in my tennis career, and especially in this surface, and and that's it. Uh, no, nothing else. Hi, Rafa. Uh, Sudip Tavanguli from Reuters. Uh, Rafa, looking forward to the uh, Djokovic match and your level today, like, wh what do you think you have to do better if you have the memories from the last time you met in the semifinals at Roland Garros? Well, I, I don't know 100% because I, I don't have a close um, test um, against him because my last match against him was, I think, last year here. So. Uh, I didn't play uh, this kind of matches for the last three months, uh, so it's going to be a, a big challenge for me. Uh, of course, he, he, he already won, I think, the last uh, nine matches in a row, uh, winning in Rome and now winning here uh, in a straight sets every match. Probably he will be confident. Yeah, I mean, I know uh, how, how is my situation. And I accept it well, and uh, I'm gonna fight for it. No, no, that's it. No, no, I, I can't uh, complain much. Uh, I am in quarterfinals of Roland Garros uh, two weeks and a half ago. Uh, even if I was, I had uh, a good hopes after the positive hopes after Rome. Uh, I even don't know if I will be able to, <laughs> to be here. So 
just enjoying the fact uh, that I am here for one more year. And uh, being honest, uh, every match that I play here, I don't know if it's going to be my last match here in, in Roland Garros in my tennis career. No? Uh, that's, that's my my situation now. Uh, of course, I, I, I went through a, a tough uh, process again with my foot. So I don't know what, what can happen in the, in the near future with, with my... With, uh, with my career, but uh, that's why I am just trying to to enjoy as much as possible and fight as much as I can to to keep uh, uh, living the dream. That is, uh, keep playing tennis and uh, be back in a in a in a very advanced round of Roland Garros, playing against the world number one. Let's see. I I, I hope to to be able to. To give myself a chance to 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 play at the highest level possible, and then let's see. Hey Rafa, this is Chris Otto with Roland Garros. Back here. Um, this year we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the title of Spanish legend Andres Jimeno, and um, he is still to this day the oldest champion in the history of the tournament. I just wonder if you had some thoughts on the legacy that he left behind. Yeah, um, well, I was able to to meet him uh, for um, for a lot of years. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he was uh, one of the most important players uh, in our history. So uh, yeah, I sad that <laughs> he is not able to to be here, uh, but. Uh, that's life, and uh, in in some way, uh, his legacy and his memory are going to stay with us, without a doubt. Rafa, in the next next match, two world number ones against one another. For you, what is the best and what is the toughest thing about being number one when you were number one? Oh no, I don't know. I mean, well, in in which way? The pressures, or what did you enjoy? What what was the the difficult part of being number one? What was the best, the really good thing about being number one? Uh, you, you know what, uh, Greg? Uh, in my case, I can't clear answer your question because I, even when I was number one, I never considered myself uh, number one. So I, I don't take it. For me, it's just a number at the end. No, and uh, for me, my approach to my diary basis on t or, or my goals in every in every tournament that I play never change it uh, if I was number one or if I was number three or number <laughs> six no uh, so in that way I never felt an extra pressure for being number one or an extra happiness for being number one of course when you are when you achieve the the number one it's a it's a it's a beautiful moment, but then I I never <laughs> wake up uh, in the morning uh, thinking, okay, I am the number one. <laughs> you know, I I just uh, had a, a normal life, being number one, <laughs> being number five, or or being number one hundred. No, uh, in that in that in, in my personal case, I, I just. Uh, Work it uh, doesn't matter the number the, the the same way to try to to improve and and that's it. No, I in that case I never felt an extra pressure for being number one or for hold the number one. No, because my pressure have been always the same. It's just try to to be ready for every tournament that I play. Hola, Rafa. Um, we all saw you at the Stade de France last night. I wonder if you could just describe your experience of the evening and uh, what time you got to bed as well. Hardly, because I I was lucky uh, to to go out. Uh, I enjoyed the fact that uh, I was able to to be my first uh, Champions League final in my my life, uh, and my team uh, won. No, so uh, have been a, a happy night without a doubt. Even even if it was tough to get there, honestly. Uh, but uh, I enjoy it. You know, have been one of the most. Uh, Crazy uh, titles uh, in terms of uh, one team winning a, a Champions League. The way that they they achieved this 
this title is just uh, I think unforgettable because every every match that Real Madrid played have been something special. Uh, yeah, comebacks, uh, very tough moments, uh, and even yesterday. Uh, mm, Courtois was amazing, and I was not able to see the celebration, honestly, because uh, unfortunately, with the half an hour delay, uh, I thought that was the right moment to to go to the bed after the after the the end of the match. Uh, so unfortunately, I was not able for the celebration, but I feel super lucky that I was able to 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 enjoy a final like this. So I I just thanks uh, Real Madrid and the the UEFA for 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 inviting me and my family. Thank you.